Hello, this video is going to show a sampling simulation in IBM SPSS. And uh, we want to do this to show essentially the power of random sampling when it comes to estimating population parameters with, with samples. And I have the GSS, the General Social Survey, which is available for download from the National Opinion Research Council. Uh, and you can Google that and find it. So what I'm going to do with this simulation is show how small samples can estimate an entire population. Since this is a simulation, we're going to treat the overall GSS sample, which is several thousand individuals, as an entire population. So we're going to pretend like that's the population or a census. Okay, so let's start by just looking at the average age of this. So analyze, descriptive statistics, and we're going to show variable names and sort alphabetically. Okay, and there's age, and click OK. And we see that the average age is 52.16. Now let's go and take a random sample from this uh, pretend population. Okay, so data select cases allows us to choose subsamples. And what we're going to do is say random sample of cases. And we can do exactly or approximately, uh, we'll just stick with, let's say, 10% of all cases. Okay, and click OK. And now you'll notice if you have your syntax printed out on your output that there, there's a filter that was created that's saying we're going to just randomly pick 10% of the cases in the data for which subsequent analyses will be performed on. Okay, so if we go back and do our the exact same thing we did a moment ago, analyze, descriptive statistics, descriptives, and we'll just do age again, it should still be there, click OK. Now we see that uh, the, the mean for the, the subsample is, f you can see, make, make sure you look at the end so you know what you're dealing with here. So here's the original one. So we had 3,699 in our pretend population with complete data on age. And 10% of that, roughly 350, uh, we have a mean of 51.71 only a difference of about 0.4 between the actual pretend population mean, right? So uh, the 10%, these 350 people, because they're randomly selected, are fairly representative of the entire so-called population when it comes to age, right? Very close approximation. Now let's do it again. Now this time we'll use a slightly uh, smaller sample and see if we get the same results. So first we want to kind of reset things. So select cases, all cases, right? And that just kind of resets the, resets everything. And then we're going to go back to data, select cases, random sample. And this time, let's just do 5%, okay? Okay, so now it's created another filter that says only randomly choose 5% of our cases for subsequent analyses. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Oh, sorry, let's go back to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptive Statistics, and click OK. And now we see with 201 cases, the mean is about 54.04. So it's a little further away from the mean, uh, almost three points. But using 200 and 201 people to estimate, uh, I'm sorry, I compared it to the wrong, this is from our previous simulation. So 54 compared to 52 is about two off, two points off, right? So the average age, older people are slightly overrepresented in this subsample of 201. Uh, so while they're fairly representative, there's a little bit of sampling error. All right, so that's that's really what we're we're demonstrating by doing this kind of simulation. All right, so just a simple simulation to demonstrate.
the power of random sampling. Thank you.